In this video, we are going to see how to print the elements of a linked list. On this side, I will give an example and on this side, I will be writing the program. So let's take an example of a linked list. So these are how the elements in the nodes look. I'm going to give the memory addresses randomly to it. So this node is going to be pointing to this node. So this is going to be next. This part is going to be previous. Similarly for all the nodes. I assume by now you know how to fill up the addresses given a linked list. So this is going to be pointing to this. And of course this is going to be pointing in the opposite direction. But I am not going to be looking into that because we are going to be writing a print function to print it in the proper order and not in reverse. So in our linked list, the node we have a count of is going to be start. So when we create a linked list, we only know about the node start. Of course, we also know about the node end, but this not, that's not going to be of use to us in this function. So let me create the print function. It's not going to return anything since it only prints out the different data and it won't accept anything either. So what must this function do? It must go from node to node each time printing out the data and then going to the address given in the next part of that same node. So each time I'm going to go to a node, first thing I'll do is print out the data, then I will go to the next node. Repeat the process, print out the data, go to the next node. Print out the data, once I reach null, I will stop. So to do this, to go from node to node, I'm going to create a temporary node called temp. This node is going to help us jump from one node to the next. And where do I want? It's not node next, sorry. It's going to be node temp. So now I have the temporary node, node temp. Where do I want to start my printing? I want to start printing from the node start. So I'm going to first go to the starting node. So the first value temp should take is going to be node start. If you recall, start is going to be one of our data members in the linked list class. So we are going to assign temp to that value in the very beginning. Now, what do we need to do to this temp? We want temp to first print out the data. So let me print out the data. So I am going to print out temp.data. Once I have finished printing the data, what will I do? I need to go to the next element. 
so I need to reset temp so now temp is going to point to what temp should point to the next element so I'm going to update the value of temp to temp dot next So once I do this, temp now stores or rather points to the data at element of the erstwhile temp.next. So let's say I was at start. I have finished printing out the data. Temp first was at start. So temp now is equal to 25. Now when I update the temp, say temp is equal to temp.next, now temp is going to equal to 75 or rather it's going to point here. So temp is equal to temp.next. I have gone to the next node. I want to repeat this process. So I need some sort of loop here. So I want to keep repeating this process until what? What should happen when I say, um, for me to say that I want to stop this process? Finally, when we reach the last node and I say temp is equal to temp.next, I will go to a null value node. We want to stop at that point. So while temp is not equal to null, I want to perform this. The minute temp equals to null and I go to, um, you know, a null pointing block of data, then I don't want to print out the data. Of that particular node because there is nothing there so until temp is not equal to null so as long as temp has some kind of data in it I want to print it and increment it the minute temp points to a null value data I don't want to print anymore and I come out of the loop once I have done this I can close my function because I have printed all the data I need to print so this is how we traverse a linked list and print out the data. So let's look at this diagrammatically and see what our output for this example will be. So let's say I have this variable called temp. So in the beginning I'm saying temp is equal to start. So it's going to be equal to this node. Now while temp is not equal to null temp is not equal to null so we can enter the loop the first thing I'm going to do is so I'll write the output here so the first thing I'll do is print out that data so I'm going to print out one then I say temp is equal to temp dot next what is temp dot next here temp dot next is the address of 75 so now temp is going to go search for the address of 75 and update the value of temp. Now we are going to repeat the loop. Temp not equal to null. That's true. Temp is not null. So now we print out the data of temp. Then we have to say temp is equal to temp.next. What is temp.next now? Temp.next is 15. So temp is going to look for 15 and update temp. So now we go back while temp not equal to null, temp is not equal to null, we will print out the data 3 and we will say temp is equal to temp.next. Let's say we have some null memory here, right? So now temp is equal to temp.next, temp is equal to temp.next, it's now going to point to null temp while temp is not equal to null so this null is going to point here this will have some random memory address but it's essentially it doesn't point to anything so now temp is equal to null while temp not equal to null but temp is equal to null so we are not going to execute this we have finished printing out our list this is how we print elements in a linked list.